intensive crisis or a, a blood sugar crisis just to take something for a short term. Other than antibiotics and pain pills and, and emergency medication, there is Zippo, not a benefit to long-term prescription drugs. And there's a lot of negative, uh, there's a lot of toxicity and side effects. And as we said earlier, they don't always show up on the side effect, side effect or adverse effect profile that is uh, on the package insert for these drugs. All right. We'll continue talking about liver health tomorrow. I'll tell you about this whole sugar connection to liver health and liver disease. And then we'll talk about how you can use arginine. Uh, really need amino acid, not just for uh, the health of the liver, but also for keeping yourself from sugar toxicity. Lots of other things associated with, with uh, arginine supplementation. I personally take about five grams of it every day. Okay, our number today is 855-660-4261. And we do have a couple lines open for you. Let's go to Texas and welcome Janice to the bright side. What's up, Janice? Good morning. Good morning, Janice. Going yes. once. Uh, hey, Janice, what's going on? <laughs> Hi, I hey. have a daughter that has been diagnosed as having seizures. Okay. And they put her on Keppra. That's the only thing they've, that she's taken. She's, she's usually not taking anything at all as far as pharmacy. How old is uh, she? Uh, about 40, 42, something like that. Okay. And she never had epilepsy? She just all of a sudden started getting seizures? Yes, she just, all of a sudden, she even died once. Somebody had to resuscitate her. Oh, my goodness. Did she have a near-death experience? During a big divorce she was going through. Did she Um, have a near-death experience? I don't know. I haven't asked her about a near-death experience. Do you know about those? Yeah, yeah. I've heard about them, and I just didn't think of it. I always always think of that when I hear somebody almost died. Anyway, so she went through a divorce, and that's when the seizures started to happen? That's when the seizures seemed to start happening, and she's had several of them. Uh, Okay. It was while she was in, uh, it was a very high-profile divorce. Okay. And uh, it was while all the lawyers were in there, and I told her, what if it's all those computers in that room? No, come on, Janice. She's, <laughs> you know, she's on. Know. No, I mean, no, you no. Get weird things. But the other thing you need to know is that she has an alcohol problem. Well, sweetheart, listen. There's all these other things happening. So, of course, she's got the epilepsy, and this is an important point. You know, we see these symptoms that are dramatic, like seizures, right? And right. then we assume that the problem is a seizure disorder. But then you start to probe and start to get underneath, and you see that there's stress, psychological stress. You see there's alcohol, and I'm not beating anybody up for, you know, for alcoholism or drinking alcohol, but I'm just saying underneath our apparent symptomology is where you're going to find the problems. But the doctors aren't going to probe underneath there. Now, alcohol is going to affect the liver, alcohol is going to affect the brain, alcohol is going to affect her body's ability to process foods and, and detox. I'm sorry, we got some background noise there. Janice, are you vacuuming while you're talking to me or anything? No, no. I'm not, but there is an air conditioner. Okay. Well, that's better if you can just walk away from it. Anyway, let me give you some ideas, okay? First of all, I, I don't want to tell you that it's just strictly a nutritional issue because it does sound like that there's some psychological things going on, and I haven't said this in a while, so I'll just say it again. Even though we talk about the physical dimension of health and wellness, health and wellness are multidimensional, and disease is multidimensional. It starts off spiritually. That means somehow we have this sense of abandonment, sense of lack, sense of something missing in our lives. This is what spiritual crisis really is about. Something is missing out out of our lives and we don't know what it is. Then there's the mental elements. The thoughts we think affect our health. And it's not, this is not airy fairy, you know, new age gobbledygook. Every time we think a thought, it gets turned into a hormone and then our body gets manufactured from that hormone. Same with emotions. So mental and emotional elements in addition to the sp- spiritual elements or dimensions are very, very important to recognize. And we don't talk about them on the bright side because this is a program that's mostly about the physical, uh, physical side of things and, and the nutritional side of things. But I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that there's a spiritual component to health or the lack thereof and a mental emotional component uh, to health or the lack thereof but from a physical standpoint there's tons you could do first and foremost um, obviously the alcohol is going to be a problem so she should be weaning herself off of that but underneath alcoholism you find emotional and mental and spiritual crisis so you got to address all those dimensions you can't just say get off alcohol i think i was talking i forgot who i was talking to earlier i was talking to somebody when you have an addiction to something that one of the fastest easiest ways to wean yourself off of whatever you're addicted to or to eliminate addiction is to find something else to be addicted to. 
at least temporarily. Find something better to be addicted to. So if she's addicted to, if anybody's addicted to alcohol, for example, get addicted to exercise or get addicted to uh, charity work or get addicted to um, uh, some kind of personal mission that you have or, or get addicted to something that's better than get addicted to reading, get addicted to self-help, get addicted to God or spirituality, get addicted to something else that's beneficial for you. That's the easiest way to wean yourself off of a, a, a negative, harmful addiction. No addiction is good, but it's a lot better to be addicted to uh, self-help or, or spirituality than to alcohol. So weaning yourself off alcohol is important. From a nutritional standpoint, there's tons you could do. Look into the ketogenic diet. That's the first thing you want to do for, for any seizure disorders. The ketogenic diet is a, a low uh, carbohydrate and they call it moderate protein and moderate fat. I don't know, I'm not sure what they mean by moderate, but just make sure you're eating more protein or she's eating more protein, more fat, and coconut oil is a wonderful, wonderful fat for dealing with uh, epilepsy and seizure disorders. It is really very helpful, and it's also helpful for the ketogenic diet. And then as far as nutritional supplements go, taurine is very important. The amino acid taurine has brain-stabilizing effects. It has actually been used to treat epilepsy, T-A-U-R-I-N-E, 100 milligrams, maybe three or four times a day or anywhere from two to four times a day. Taurine is actually used in Red Bull to kind of calm the body down from all that caffeine. It has a calming effect on the body. The B vitamins are the brain vitamins, B for brain, B for building also. So the B vitamins will help build things, and they're also very important for brain health. Uh, get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. That's one of the best things, one of the most important features of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the fact that it's liquid B vitamins. And remember, every time you urinate, you're losing your B vitamins. You're losing your water-soluble nutrients, and the water-soluble nutrients, the B vitamins and the electrolytes and, and also vitamin C are highly electrical and seizure disorders are an electrical issue. So make sure she's sipping on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Sugar will deplete the body of B vitamins. It can cause problems with seizure disorders, especially when insulin goes up and you go into low blood sugar. So making sure she's keeping her, her carbohydrate intake down is also important. And after you eat carbohydrates or after your daughter eat car, eats carbohydrates, Make sure she's using some B vitamins to help stabilize and uh, stabilize the blood sugar, help the body process the sugar. Hang tight, Janice. Got a couple more things to say. If you suffer seasonal or environmental allergies and your doctor has told you that the only answer is medications for the rest of your life, Dr. Peter Glinton has an alternative solution that doesn't involve drugs with terrible side effects. One of my favorite add-on products to the 90 essential nutrients for people who are suffering with allergies is a product called Cell Shield RTQ. Cell Shield RTQ. The Q in that product stands for a biochemical called quercetin, and quercetin is a natural antihistamine. It doesn't flag out your immune system like antihistamines do. To manage your allergies without a lifetime of prescription or over-the-counter drugs, order Longevity's Cell Shield RTQ today by calling 855-347-3696. That's 855-347-3696 or on the web at fireyourmdnow.com. That's fireyourmdnow.com. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the field is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. 
Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to proflowers.com. Click the blue microphone in the top right corner and enter code PLOW. That's proflowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. Don't complain about your cable bill going up and up and up. Do something about it. Grab a pencil and jot down this special number. 1-855-905-MY-TV. The more cable TV rates go up, the better digital satellite TV looks. Say goodbye to the cable guy. And get more of your favorite channels in 100% digital quality for less money. Call 1-855-905-MY-TV. Sign up for packages starting as low as $19.99 and there's no equipment to buy. You get free HD TV upgrade, a free DVR upgrade, and free professional and installation you control what you watch when you watch it record your favorite shows pause and rewind live tv even skip the commercials watch local channels too at just 19.99 what are you waiting for pull out your major credit or debit card call 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV say goodbye to the cable guy cut costs and get more 1-855-905-MY-TV 1-855-905-MY-TV We are America's largest independently owned communications network, GCN. Back on the bright side, talking to Janice in Texas. Uh, a couple more things I want to tell Janice, you there, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Oh, sir, I'm a sir. You're a ma'am. I want to just tell you a couple things here, Janice. Actually, Janice, let me ask you something. And I, I, I just want to know. I'm not trying to be attacking here or harassing you or anything. I just really want to know. If your daughter's a, a, a drinking alcohol and she's got stress in her life and then she has seizure disorders, why would she go to a doctor and take a prescription medication that poisons the brain? That's how your Keppra works. It actually poisons the nurse. Instead of focusing on the things she can control, like the stress and the anxiety and the alcohol and the other things that she might be doing. And I'm not attacking you. I just really want to know. And obviously, she's your daughter. She's not you. But in your mind, in your opinion, what, what, is, what do you think she's thinking? Sometimes I wonder if she's thinking. Okay. I, you know, she, she is a vegetarian. But, but why would she really go to the doctor doesn't... before she focused on the things she can control, in your opinion? Do you... I don't think she knows what she needs to do to control. Okay. I don't. You think I... she just felt desperate and just didn't know what to do? Well, you know, when you've ended up in the hospital and died and everything, I guess a doctor says you have to take this forever. You, you listen. You... You listen or okay. you die. All right, all right. As far as she thinks, all and right. and I know that calling you is a way to find out what she can do instead of Kepra. And well, I'm just going to give you common sense ideas, okay? So th- this isn't even really science or anything technical. It's just common sense. Alcohol puts a major load, major stress on the body. Her divorce probably didn't help, and I'm sure she's doing other things as well. By the way, she's a vegetarian. The chances are really, really good that her blood sugar is whacked out too. Unfortunately vegetarians who aren't really paying attention to how they vegetarianize are, are prone to eating lots of grain and lots of sugary kinds of foods. So chances are her blood sugar is whacked out also. So all the things I just told you, I told you before the break. Number one, the ketogenic diet, which is a low-carbohydrate, moderate-protein, moderate-fat diet. Coconut oil. Make sure she's using taurine, 200 to 400 milligrams a day. Make sure she's, she's using the B-complex all day long in the form of the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. She should probably be getting on the Healthy Star Pack as soon as possible. Possible. And then last but not least, she doesn't want to go into low blood sugar, but the less she eats, if she can keep her calories down, that's going to allow her body to heal and recover, and it's going to reduce any, uh, any of the likelihood of this high blood sugar, low blood sugar roller coaster that can initiate seizures and seizure disorders. So tons of stuff you could do. And when she's on the Healthy Star Pack, by the way, I would be doubling up on the essential fatty acids, which are super duper important for brain health. And if she wants to live a good, long, strong, healthy life, she'd be very wise to get off the brain-poisoning 
drug toxin that her supposed healthcare professionals uh, put her on, that Keppra, which literally works by poisoning nerve cells in the brain, dumbing down nerve cells in the brain. That's its mechanism of action. Got to move on. Janice, anything else you want to say? Just that uh, she has every single uh, reaction to that Keppra that, that are side effects. She has every one of them. Oh, uh, well, you know, you <laughs> suck. I don't know what to tell you on that one, Janice. Wean off, have her wean off the Keppra and do everything I just told you, and she should notice some Can significant I get a tape? difference. Is it possible to get a tape?